Hi, I'm Martin Lewis from MoneySavingExpert.com. We're amidst an energy bills crisis. On the 1st of April, the price cap that the majority of homes are on is going to rise by 54%, adding a typical £700 to the average bill. Then on the 1st of October, it changes again. And we're a month through the six-month period that that's assessed on. If it continues the way it has so far, expect to see another 40% rise on top of the April rise in October, taking... Typical bill for a household to an unaffordable £2,900. Clearly, political intervention is needed. Many people are also asking me right now, should I fix? Well, I've done a full video on that. It's on moneysavingexpert.com. What I want to do today, though, is three quick tips that may help a little. The first, for those of you on prepayment meters, specifically non-smart prepay meters, if you're on a smart prepay, this won't help. The regulator of GEM has confirmed to me that it is you get the rate on the day you top up, not when you use energy. Now, that means if you max out your top up in March before the rate goes up, that's what you'll get, even if you then use that energy in April. So you can extend the cheap rate we have now for longer by maxing your top up if you can afford it. And I know not everybody on prepay can. Now, Every mainstream company has confirmed to me that this will work with one exception, Scottish Power, who says it will add a rate on top of that. That seems to me at odds with what the regulator is saying. So I've reported it to Ofgem to try and see if there is a way around that. But I don't have an answer on that yet. If you're on direct debit, I'm afraid there's no similar system for you. If you artificially inflate your direct debit in March, that's fraud. You can't do it. But I would suggest you do a meter reading today and diarise to do a meter reading on the 31st of March. So you draw a line and tell the energy company all this energy I've used should be at the cheap rate. Final tip, you'll know that there are a couple of government schemes to come in place. There's the controversial loan, not loan scheme happening in October. But the other one is in April, all those in band A to D council tax will get a £150 rebate to help with energy costs. It was first in England, Scotland and Wales are now doing it, and we await to hear in Northern Ireland. Well, for the English scheme, we're being told you will get the money automatically paid into your bank account as long as you pay council tax by direct debit. If you don't do that already, there's still time to set it up, though I can't give you deadlines because it's council by council. If you don't set the direct debit up, then keep your eye out for a letter from the council because each council will tell you its claim system and you need to watch for that. If you're not eligible for the 150 quid, say because you're in a higher band, then there is a discretionary 140 million pounds being set up to help those who are struggling. It will be up to each council to decide how it distributes it, but be ready to claim that. I hope this helps.